Welcome back to my career mode update series, guys. This week we've got some huge upgrades and some pretty interesting downgrades as well. As usual, guys, this series is powered by Elgato Gaming. Make sure you check them out in the description below. And let's get straight into the first player. At first, we have Mesut Ozil, the mighty informed central attacking midfielder from Arsenal. Of course, he's having a very, very good season so far, but his potential has been downgraded from 90 to 89. So EA don't think he's going to get any better. Do you agree with that? Personally, I, I don't know. I think maybe 89 is fair, but maybe his potential of 90 wasn't really an issue. So let me know in the comments below. I actually think 90 would have been absolutely fine, but EA have downgraded his potential from 90 to 89. Up next we have Aguero from Manchester City. Surprisingly his penalties have been downgraded from 83 to 80. Is that fair enough? It's the same story for Aubameyang the striker at Dortmund. Possibly the most overpowered striker in this game along with maybe Luis Suarez in my opinion but Aubameyang has had his penalties reduced as well from 84 to 82. Again is that really fair? Now moving on to an incredible goalkeeper this year. At 23 years old, Oblak is 87 rated. Pretty incredible. He's had an upgrade, but not to his stats. His height has been upped to 6 foot 2. He was originally 6 foot 1. Now you might be thinking, well that's pointless. But for a goalkeeper, it's absolutely huge. Just that extra inch of height can make a big difference. So Oblak has got even better if you ask me. Up next we have the ex-Liverpool defender Skirtle, who has moved along to Fenerbahce in the summer. And uh, he has actually had a downgrade from 82 to 81. Still a very good defender, don't get me wrong, but his interceptions, short passing, slide tackling and stand tackling have all been decreased. And so has his potential, which is also now 81. So, of course, at the age of 31, you're not really going to expect a, a centre back to get much better. So there you go. Skirtle gone down by one. So this is an interesting one. We've got Ogbonna from West Ham. They have changed his work rates. Originally, he was medium high. So medium attacking, high defensive, which is really, really good for a defender. However, now, as you can see there, he's now high attacking and medium defensive. So he's going to be getting forward a little bit more. And actually, to me, that is a downgrade for a centre-back. But maybe it reflects his performances in real life. Maybe Ogbonna does get forward a little bit too much. But that is the change for Ogbonna this week. And I'm a little bit sad to see this, but it was always going to happen after a fantastic season last year. A lot of the Leicester players, I think, would have had upgrades. And now, because they're not doing so well, they're going to get downgrades. And one of the first casualties is Huth. Although he's 32 years old, still, in my opinion, one of the strongest centre-backs in the Premier League. Very, very reliable. But he has been downgraded from 80 to 79. His Free kick accuracy has been nerfed. I don't understand why. His interceptions, his marking, his sprint speed and his stand tackling have all been decreased. So unfortunately, Huth is no longer 80 rated. He's now 79. Back now to Atletico Madrid. We've got Hernandez, a very, very nice young player in this year's game. However, his work rates are awful, if you ask me. He has been upgraded not only in stats, but his height has gone up to 6 foot from 5 foot 11. His overall rating has gone from 75 to 76. His potential has gone up from 86 to 87. And a lot of his defensive stats have been increased. So if you're looking for a young centre-back that's relatively cheap, he's only around 8 million euros. That's his value, apparently. You can pick him up pretty cheap, and he has a massive potential of 87. So definitely someone to look out for. Now back to the Premier League, we've got Victor Fischer, who a couple of FIFAs ago was definitely one of the best young players in the game. He still is very good. He's moved to Middlesbrough now, of course, and he's had an upgrade this week. His potential has gone up to 82, and his overall rating has gone from 74 to 75. They've also increased his dribbling, his reactions, his short passing, and his vision. So definitely, definitely a nice upgrade for Victor Fischer. And I think he's going to be a great player for Middlesbrough this season. Now, this one absolutely sucks, if you ask me. I'm a big fan of Sampa. He's on loan at Granada this season from Barcelona. Everyone was saying he's going to be the next big thing in uh, Barcelona's midfield in a couple of years. But now he's 21 years old and EA really don't feel like he's going to be that good. His potential has gone down to 82. And it's the same story for Scuff It, guys. This really is depressing, isn't it? Some of the best young players in old FIFAs not living up to their hype. Scuff It's potential has gone down from 85 to 82 again EA just don't think he's going to reach that potential that uh, was previously 
I don't know, predicted, but basically Scuff It is not worth getting anymore either. Although 82 isn't too bad. I, I mean, it's been much higher in the past. It's such a shame. And now, guys, for the last player I'm going to be talking about this week, we have Iwobi. He has been upgraded from 72 to 73. And trust me, it's not the last time you're going to see him in this series. I'm pretty sure he'll be 75, maybe even 76 by the end of this year. But anyway, his ball control has gone up. His composure, which is a new stat in FIFA, has gone up from 59 to 71. Dribbling's gone up, his rating's obviously gone up, his potential has stayed the same though, by the way, so he's still only going to reach 86 apparently, which is obviously very good. He is now only a left midfielder, as you can see he was originally a left midfielder and a right midfielder and a striker. They've removed right midfield and striker, so he's only playing on the left now apparently. Short passing's gone up, stamina's gone up, and so has his vision. And that, guys, brings the episode to an end. Thank you so much for watching this series. If you're enjoying it, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe as well so you can keep up to date with all of the career mode upgrades and downgrades and things like that. This goes up every single week. And also, don't forget to check out the sponsor of this series, Elgato. Huge shout out to them. That I actually recorded this video with it and all my other videos with it. So I really recommend them, guys. The link is below. And I will see you in the next episode next week.